Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Kristen and I'm, the, uh, I'm an account manager here at PTS. Um, <clears throat> we'll start this webinar off with, uh, I'll just give a quick overview of uh, our company and Tracer Plus and then Tyler will go into um, actually a live demonstration of how to download and get started with the software. And then we'll follow up with some questions and answers. So Portable Technology Solutions is the name of our company and we're the developers of both the Tracer Plus and Clearstream RFID software. Uh, today we'll be um, showcasing Tracer Plus, the mobile uh, barcode and RFID software. Um, and for those of you who may be interested in a fixed uh, RFID solution, you may want to take a look at our Clearstream um, RFID software. So Tracer Plus is a user configurable um, application uh, configuration tool used to create both barcode and RFID applications, um, as well as NFC applications, um, for those of you who may be interested in that too. Uh, no programming required. It's all intuitive drag and drop. Uh, you can create a basic, simple application like scan a barcode, enter a quantity, to more complex applications um, that may even involve some logic. Um, it's a standalone system. Um, all the data is hosted by, by you. Um, licenses are perpetual with uh, reoccurring support agreements. Um, we service multiple platforms uh, for Android, Windows Mobile, iOS um, devices. And so essentially you can build one application and deploy it across multiple platforms. Uh, we then provide software that allows you to connect to existing backend systems such as Microsoft Access, SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, and uh, pretty much anything. It's real simple to use. You just go to our website, download the software, and uh, Tyler is going to go over that in a quickly. And then lastly, we have pre-configured applications um, on our website. So I encourage everybody to go to the Google Play Store with their Android devices and simply download, and you'll have four working applications at your fingertips with which you can then modify, make changes to, um, or you can build one from scratch. You can also go to our website and go to our application library, and we have um, close to probably 100 applications on there from asset tracking, inventory, control um, applications that you can use right out of the box. Real simple to use, real easy to get started. Um, and now we'll, uh, we'll have uh, Tyler show you how to do it. Just gotta hand it over to Tyler here. Okay, Tyler, it's all yours. All right, I think we're good. Uh, hi, everybody. Thanks for joining Kristen and I for this webinar today. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and walk you through all the information that you need to get going ahead and start it with Tracer Plus. So for those of you that are just joining us for the first time or have never had a support ticket before, my name is Tyler. I'm a solution architect here at PTS, and I handle all of our Tier 1 support tickets and phone calls. For those of you that may not have heard, we've changed up the format of this webinar a little bit to make it more concise so we can hope to get all of you the information that you need quickly so you can get interested and get started right away. So thanks for joining us. Now that Kristen has given us the background, let's talk a bit about just how easy it is to go from nothing to a fully functioning application in only a couple minutes. So the first thing's first, you're going to have to download the applications themselves. And to do that, you can come over to our website here, tracerplus.com, and we'll click this Try It Free button. It'll take you to a download form where you can fill out all this information and download the first program that we need, which is Tracer Plus Desktop. Uh, for now, I'll skip over the tedium of the installation, but it's basically just an install wizard, and you can click yes all the way through it to install everything in its default path. So here's Tracer Plus Desktop itself. This is where you'll build all of your apps to deploy to your device, or you can even grab one of our sample apps. So today we're going to use an Android mobile device, uh, the Zebra TC20 that I have right here on my screen, thanks to a program called Visor. 
And I'd also like to mention that we fully support Windows Mobile, even if Microsoft is making that kind of difficult nowadays. And uh, if you contact one of our account managers, like Kristen, we can even get you set up on iOS, which we're pretty excited about. And soon, we'll even be on the App Store, so keep an eye open for that one. So to get Tracer Plus on an Android device, it can be as easy as going over here to the Play Store, if you have it available on your device, looking up Tracer Plus, and downloading Tracer Plus 10 right here. I already have it installed. Uh, if you don't have access to the Play Store, you can also find the information and download the Tracer Plus APK on our website. And then you can run that on your device to install instead of coming here through the Play Store. So let's go ahead and open up Tracer Plus 10 on my TC20. And here it is. As Christian mentioned, this is our Android version. And it comes right out of the box with four fully functioning applications that you can use. And if you want to use them, great. Go right ahead, they work perfectly. Uh, there's a reason we include them by default. We also have almost 100 sample applications, ranging from vehicle inspections to document tracking and much more. They're all free and available for you to download either on our site or right here in desktop. So let's go ahead and grab one and try it out. And I'm gonna pick one of our very basic uh, RFID scanning applications here. And you can see I just went in, I selected the asset tracking category, and I knew what I was looking for, which is this RFID asset scan application. Uh, here it'll describe our application and some of the details about it and show off a few screenshots. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click next and then import it and finish. So now this will have imported the project and I have it open on my PC. And this is what desktop looks like after you have a project installed. As I mentioned, this project itself is very basic. You can see here that it only has one session, which is like a, um, a form, and it only has four fields. You'll see it has a location, uh, a tag ID, a date time, and a grid count. And basically, what this application will do, if I pop on over to the form designer, uh, you'll see we'll select a location from the dropdown. We can scan in some tags and they'll be populated here in this grid. And then I can post them over to the devices record. And that's pretty much all this application does. It's, it's just that easy. You pick a location and you start scanning. It could not be easier. So that application is very basic. And it's pretty easy to use, but what if you wanted to make something more complicated that does more jobs for, uh, for RFID? So let's take a look at a more complicated and advanced application. It's something you can really you know, flex your muscles with if you know how to use Tracer Plus. Here's an application we had PTS built recently. It's much more in depth and it has a number of sessions the first one you might recognize from the app I just showed you, we kind of uh, built it out to be more advanced. So here is our, our old app that I just showed you, except now it has a building in a room and you can still scan your RFID tags and post them. And we'll also have another uh, session here that we like to call Geiger. And what this does is it'll more or less measure the uh, signal that you're getting from the RFID tags and tell you how close or far you are to a given tag. So maybe if it's missing, you can find it. Uh, and if this interests you, we actually have a video of this application in particular in action on our YouTube page, if you're interested. And we have this last session over here, which you can use to sync to and from your device to your database using our third program, which is Tracer Plus Connect, but uh, I won't really talk about that right now. So I like this application. How do I get this app from my PC over to my mobile device? All I have to do is make sure that my mobile device and my PC are on the same network and make sure that my Android device's connectivity has been set to file transfer as you see here.
USB for file transfer, not charging, which is the default. Then I'll come over here in desktop and I'll hit this build and deploy button. And I'd like to do an Android web deploy. So I'll come here and hit use deploy server. And what this will do is generate a QR code that I can use to scan on my mobile device. And that will actually download the project right from my PC to my mobile device. So I'll go ahead and do that right here. After that, I should be able to click here and it will reload our new project on the mobile device. And you can see here, I have my three sessions just like we see in desktop. And if I selected any one of them, you'll see this form as it existed in desktop. So now I have this application from desktop right on my mobile device. As you may have noticed just by me scanning through all of these projects that we have, this is not even 10% of all the available options that you can use to leverage and create your own mobile app or even take one of our sample apps and make it your own with modifications. And like I said, all of our nearly 100 sample apps are totally free for you to download and use either from our website or like I showed you right here in Tracer Plus Desktop. And remember, Tracer Plus is completely free to try. There's very few limitations between the trial version and the, uh, the full version if you're just tinkering around. And if you're getting bored of sitting here and watching me explain everything, then you can just stick it to me and go download it right now and play around while I ramble about Tracer Plus. So I think that just about covers what Tracer Plus is and how to get it. And I, I mean, I can't say it enough. It's completely free to try. There's no catch. So even if you're a little interested, go ahead and download it, poke around our sample app, see if there's something that you like, something that you love, and give it a try. And with that being said, I'll let Kristen take over again and we can finish up and we'll answer any questions that you might have. I uh, want to thank Tyler for uh, taking the time to show us how easy it is to download Tracer Plus. All right. Hope everybody has a great day. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our content, be sure to like and subscribe and visit our channel below for more. You can also find us online at tracerplus.com or on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. If you have any questions, feel free to call or email us at any time, and we'll be happy to help.